Entering the virtual dimension requires an armor of equipment to teleport our physical bodies into virtual space. Once there, I'm able to intuitively navigate my virtual surroundings, see my torso and limbs, and operate virtual weapons, even physically interact with my friends. But until the technology that enables full body tracking becomes more widely affordable to consumers, a basic kit consisting of a haptic vest, headset, headphones, a computer, motion trackers, and cameras will cost a six-digit sum in Singapore dollars. And that's just for one person. It can be done, but then to do out the whole system, it won't be economically feasible, I would say. Let's say I want my avatar to look exactly like me as I do in the physical world. How close are we to achieving that with the technology we have? There's a new technology by Epic Games called MetaHumans, and MetaHumans is a huge step towards that because it used to be extremely difficult to get realism in humans. Basically how you do that is you take different facial features from different archetypes and mix and match them together and try to approximate the looks. And then we have sensors that drive the avatar's behavior. It's supposed to be me. <laughs> sort of, yeah. Of course we can uh, try to improve it a little bit. This is our new invention. It's called Voctail. Voctail, yeah. It's an invention which we can just pour a water, uh -huh. but that can change to different type of drink. Allow oh. you to have a new type of drinking experience. Wow. Mm. This is lemon. All right. This is lemon. Lemon, yeah. The moment I put my tongue there, there was this acidity, so it's a smell, and then that will give you a, a holistic experience. So my tongue has to touch the metal yeah. conductor, I don't know what you call this. It's an electrode. <laughs> it's an electrode. So basically I'm electrocuting my tongue. <laughs> yes, in a way, yes. Yeah, but, but it's because it's a micro electrode. So it's super, super mild. The first thing is when you're walking in, your entire being is digital, mm -hmm. which means every move you're making is now being recorded. Somewhere, every right? action is logged somewhere by someone who owns that environment. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, are we acting in violent ways? Are we doing digital harm to others? So there's this whole concept now of digital justice, especially in like a metaverse. We need to have activism, we need to have education, and we need to have governance and make sure that they're not negatively impacting the health of people or allowing cyber criminals to come in. No one can predict exactly what the metaverse will look like. Different tech companies will have different versions of it and their R&D will shape it. But one thing's for sure, it is coming and it will disrupt and change life as we know it just as the internet did. New generation of technology is just like we are wearing regular glasses mm. or you know, just wearing clothes and we go out and we forget about the technology and we are benefiting seamlessly from its benefits.